They went to the churches to recruit people to come out here. Set you free. What are you doing? No other town built with African Americans survived. Nicodemus did. Nicodemus is in this larger story of struggle, sometimes triumphant, sometimes failure. Will you keep on walking? Will you keep on walking? Will you go home? The faith that those people had coming from Kentucky. A lot of black families decided they wanted to settle here. We're going to come to a little space in Kansas. We are afraid, but we're going anyway. The hard times, the dust storms, living in dugouts. He went three winters and he didn't have any shoes to wear. The Bible was central, right? And they brought that faith with them. That's why they survived. Then the name that was even chosen for Nicodemus. That's straight out of the scriptures. The church became its first and strongest organization. The church was the center of their lives. And that's why they built it before they built their own homes. What is the church teaching people? And it's teaching them, no matter what you do to us, we are going to remain children of God. That's a powerful message, especially under conditions where people didn't treat you that way. What a deep and powerful faith. We've come a long way, Lord. And so that faith line has just been established in all of us. They're going through some struggles and they can't get through it right now, Father. But as you said, Luke 137, with God, anything, anything is possible. Father God, it's just part of the fiber of the community. They had to have a, a strong faith in a God that was really able to carry them through. Deliver you. He will set you free. I think that's a huge part of why Nicodemus still exists, because we've stayed true to that tradition. Won't he put water in the vessel? Won't he put food on the table? Won't he? Won't he? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? I know he will.